Hey guys, what's going on? It's Wasim here from Handsome Smiles. Thank you for joining me on another fragrance related video. So guys, the topic of today's video is top 5 leather fragrances to consider. So if you've been following my channel in recent times and seen some of my recent videos, uh, I've basically gone through this year where I've experimented a lot with fragrances, I've really explored a lot of new fragrances and these videos are just basically me picking five of the top fragrances from a particular note. So I've done uh, rose, I've done oud and I've done tobacco and today it's time to do leather. So let's get this list started. And number five is an incredibly popular fragrance here on YouTube and that's because of one fragrance reviewer really hyping it up, that's Jeremy Fragrance. The fragrance is from the house of Carolina Herrera and that fragrance is CH Men. Guys, CH Men has just been massively hyped on YouTube. Uh, I haven't had many wearings of this yet so I won't give my final thoughts on this fragrance but the few wearings that I have had, I've been very impressed guys. For me this uh, CH Men on my skin opens up very green and fresh. It's beautiful opening guys with this lovely green grass note. The lovely green grass note in the opening really reminds me of another fragrance from Carina Herrera, uh, 212 Men. Both of the fragrances really share this lovely green grassy note. After the green fresh opening in the uh, in the opening, the fragrance really transforms to become this uh, leather dominant scent with a lot of sweetness. Now the sweetness in CH Men is not like a syrupy sweetness or a gourmand sort of sweetness. The sweetness really comes from a sugar. The sugar note is outstanding guys. The sugar and the leather really blend well together to create a very sexy and very pleasant scent to wear. This is definitely going to be very pleasing and it's going to be a brilliant compliment getter. Guys, the sugar in this, I'm not a massive fan of uh, sweet scents, but the sugar in this has just done really well, guys. It's not very cloying at all and it's just very well, easy to wear and it's definitely going to get you compliments. For me, the longevity was good. On the few variants that I've had, I've got about eight, six to eight hours of longevity. However, the projection is on the softer side of my skin, and for that reason, I believe CH Men would work really well as a close quarter date romantic type of a fragrance. A very good, easy to wear leather scent. It's not harsh at all. For me, it's a very safe leather wear to wear, a uh, leather scent to wear. That CH Man from Calarina Herrera. And number four is a fragrance from the house of Byredo. This fragrance is called Black Saffron. Guys, Black Saffron is a gorgeous scent which opens up very fruity. I get a lot of juniper berries and the raspberry uh, and other fruity accords in the opening. For me, the raspberry is the most prominent, uh, predominant note throughout the life of this fragrance. However, you also get a lovely leather uh, during the mid of this fragrance and the saffron which comes into the dry, uh, in the dry down giving it a little warm spicy touch. An outstanding, cozy and warm fragrance to wear guys. A very safe leather as well. This gets a lot of comparisons to Tuscan Leather by Tom Ford. And the both fragrances do share similar nuances of the leather, the spiciness from the saffron and the beautiful raspberry fruity accord. However, the main difference I find in black saffron uh, to Tuscan Leather is that black saffron is a lot more wearable and it's more unisex. Tuscan leather is incredibly masculine. With this being black saffron being a touch more unisex, I find it's a lot more wearable and the leather is less harsh. The leather in Tuscan leather is quite industrial and is ultra masculine. For me, black saffron is a gorgeous scent to wear, a lovely leather. Again, I feel this would work brilliantly as a close quarter date situation type of a fragrance. The longevity is good, I got about 8 to 10 hours. And the projection is slightly soft, so it's definitely a fragrance for someone that's quite close to you to enjoy. A beautiful, fruity, slightly warm, spicy scent with that lovely leather throughout the scent. That is Black Saffron by Byredo. And number three is a fragrance which is widely imitated by other fragrance houses. However, this is the original, guys. It is Tom Ford's Tuscan Leather. Like I've said, this fragrance gets imitated a lot. There are a lot of clones of this fragrance. I've just talked about Black Saffron, which gets a lot of comparisons to Tuscan Leather by Tom Ford. There's also other fragrances. A company in the Middle East uh, released La Yukawan, which many people consider to be the closest clone of Tom Ford. 
Tuscan leather. It's also a monotheme leather, a very uh, inexpensive clone of Tuscan leather, very good scent. Definitely one to check out as well. However, Tom Ford's Tuscan leather is the original, guys. For me, this fragrance has grown on me in recent times. I definitely did not enjoy it the first few wearings I've had, but I've been testing it quite a bit recently. Hasn't completely won me over, but the last few times I have worn it, I have quite enjoyed it quite a lot. For me, the longevity is very good. I at least get about 10 hours with this scent, but the projection is a little bit spotty on me. Sometimes it sticks very close to my skin and, doesn't, and, and I feel like it doesn't really push out much. And then there's other occasions where I find the projection to be quite good. Not excellent, but on the high end of average. This is an incredibly masculine scent, guys. You're going to get a lot of leather. The leather is definitely very industrial, very strong, giving it a very masculine edge. And it's definitely very classy as well. This is quite a high class, definitely a fragrance where you want to wear when you go into a formal event and you're dressed up a little bit. Would work really well when you're wearing a suit. A lot of leather scents can come across quite casual, but for me, Tom Ford's Tuscan leather is just brilliant when you're wearing a suit, guys. You also get this really warm, spicy nuance from the saffron, and the raspberry note is beautiful, giving it a slightly fruity, sweet edge. A gorgeous scent, definitely a very popular fragrance, but very expensive as well, so definitely get yourself a sample before you uh, buy yourself a full bustle. A good fragrance, hasn't won me over yet, but a very popular leather fragrance. That's Tuscan Leather by Tom Ford. And number two, guys, is a fragrance which is incredibly sexy. It is by far one of the sexiest fragrances in my collection. Heck, it's even the sexiest fragrances I've ever smelled. Guys, it's from the house of Christian Dior. That fragrance is the iconic Fahrenheit. Guys, I've us. Like I've said, this is one of the sexiest fragrances I've worn. It is incredibly masculine. The opening, you get this massive greenness, and it's from this very striking violet leaf. Uh, so it's really like a grassy green opening, like a really green spring day opening. And you also get this very unique petroleum vibe. And guys, this is very unique. I've never smelled a petroleum vibe in any other fragrance. The greenness and the petroleum note in the opening is just outstanding. It's just very unique and it's definitely something you have to smell. If you haven't smelled this, where have you been? Have you been hiding under a rock? Seriously, the opening is outstanding. After the green uh, petroleum sort of opening you get in the uh, beginning of this fragrance, the fragrance dries down to this incredibly sexy and ultra masculine leather note with this sweet amber in the background. Guys, honestly, the dry down is by far the sexiest scent I've smelled. It's so sexy, but it's incredibly masculine at the same time. A lot of fragrances are sexy, but they're sexy on the metrosexual side, but this is sexy on the rugged, masculine type, guys. Whenever I wear Fahrenheit, it makes me feel like I'm riding a motorcycle and I'm wearing a leather jacket and I've got a big beard and I'm riding this motorcycle without a helmet. I'm a complete badass that just not that just doesn't give a shit about anything. A beautiful leather scent, very sexy. Uh, lasts all day, for me, 10 to 12 hours. The projection is average throughout the scent, but I've, I don't think that's a negative at all. Uh, an outstanding leather fragrance, something you have to experience for me. At number two is Fahrenheit from the House of Christian Dior. At number one, guys, is a fragrance, again, from the House of Christian Dior. This is an outstanding fragrance, guys. Not only is this the best leather fragrance I've experienced this year, it's been the best fragrance I've found throughout this whole year, guys. I was absolutely amazed how beautiful this fragrance was. I really shied away from this fragrance due to a particular negative review on YouTube. However, I'm so glad I picked up a decant because this, guys, this fragrance is just amazing. I'll put it at number one on my top uh, 10 winter fragrances for the, this year, for the year 2015 and 2016. It's from the house of Christian Dior, guys. It's Dior en Parfum. Guys, Dior en Parfum is just a masterpiece in my opinion. If you're a fan of the original Dior Arm, then it's similar to Dior Arm, but the leather and the woods have been intensified. The leather and the woods are the most predominant notes in the scent. You get the leather, you get this lovely sandalwood and some iris in the background. The longevity is just mind-blowingly excellent. It lasts nearly 24 hours and the projection is excellent as well. People are going to notice you. This fragrance, when I wear it, it just makes me feel very classy and very elegant as well. 
Uh, it's definitely a fragrance I can imagine James, Bo uh, James Bond wearing. This is definitely suited to formal high class events when you're wearing a tuxedo or a suit. Definitely a gorgeous scent, a very gentlemanly scent as well. You're going to feel like a gentleman. Absolutely fantastic leather fragrance, guys. From the house of Dior Arm, I mean, the Christian Dior fragrance is Dior Arm Parfum. All right, guys, there you have it. Top five leather fragrances to consider. If you guys enjoy this video, then make sure you give me a like or a comment below. And guys, if you haven't subscribed, then make sure you do. Until next time, my friends, see you later.